I'm Danny Agosta with Steel Rubber Products. Today we've got a 1969 El Camino. We're going to show you underneath the hood how to replace the adjustable hood bumpers, your fender bumpers, and as well as the hood decal seal in the back. We'll show you how to do all that, get the seals looking nice and new and performing the way they're supposed to work, right here. All right, so first up are these adjustable hood bumpers. These are one of the easiest parts to do as well as one of the first parts people see whenever you lift up your hood. So for this one, it just is a cap that comes off of the bolt. And you can see how degraded that rubber is. And the new bumpers go on just the same way. It's a cap. If you do need a replacement bolt, we have those available as well. We have the bumpers where they're vulcanized onto the bolt, so they're one piece, but just that simple, that's all done. Next up are our fender bumpers. So you can see there's two on each side, so we've got four of those. These slide forward. And come out through the wider section of this key. So, to replace it, our new one goes in the exact same way underneath that key. And this little lip tucks up under there whenever it's on. Just that simple. And we'll replace all four of those. So the last part we're going to do is the hood decal. This is the seal that separates the engine compartment from the intake for air and all that stuff. So we want to make sure that seal performs right. This particular one is held on with some clips. It's also been glued down. So we're going to show you how to remove all that, clean it up, and install the new one. It's worn out, so we want to make sure it's performing correctly. So we're going to remove it. This one's clipped and also glue it down. Sure, it would be great to remove the hood while we do this, but who's got time for that? Now that we've removed all of the pieces that we can. We'll remove the clips and then we'll spray some adhesive remover to remove any residual pieces. and then spray some adhesive remover. Let that sit for a minute and then scrape everything off that we can. So this is a piece of the seal we took off there. As you can see, one, it's absolutely corroded, but it's very flat. Towards the end where it's not so flat, you can see how tall it's supposed to be. And this is the seal we're putting on there. So this is gonna seal a lot better and it's gonna be a lot more functional for the vehicle. So as you saw, this seal was installed with clips. So it's gonna go on the same way it came off. We have pre-drilled holes and the clips are supplied with it. So what we'll go ahead and do is place all those clips into these holes. So the seal will come through. We give you a little bit extra so you can make sure it's butted up just against your fender. And the first clip's gonna go in the first hole. And so on. We'll go all the way across the hood. 
So a situation we've just come across is that there's no hole for this pin or this pin to go into. It looks like there's some body filler there. So what we're going to do is just remove those pins and we'll glue that down. So with a weather strip adhesive, I like to put a little bit in a separate area, a piece of cardboard or something, because this stuff can be a little bit messy. So I like to take a little bit on a popsicle stick, and you just paint underneath on the weather stripping, on the metal. You just want to get a nice thin layer of it on there. You want to wait for it to tack up just a little bit. If it's warmer, it'll tack up faster than if it's cold. You just want to place it right where it goes. And if you want, you can use a, a little bit of masking tape or something to hold it in place. But you want to give that rubber some time to set. All right, so we're all done underneath the hood of this El Camino. We've done our bumpers, we've done our hood decal, I showed you how to do the pins, how to clean up some unexpected areas, and what to do if you come across something that's you know, unexpected, like where there's supposed to be a pinhole and there's not. Uh, we got some glue on there, but what we're going to do is let that glue sit for another 24 hours before we close this hood, just to give that glue some time to cure. If you have any questions about what goes under the hood of your car, you can check on our website, search by year, make, model, and body style, and everything we have for your vehicle will show right up. To see more how-to videos, check out our YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time.